So hello everyone, I am Jayanto. This is my CAC 370 database project. I am from group 9. So this project is all about football league management system. I have used HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap as the front end and PHP, MySQL as the back end. So first of all, I am extremely sorry because due to this short period of this pandemic semester, I couldn't end up the whole project as it is an extremely huge project to handle all alone. But yes, I have done the major parts which can be edited accordingly to create the whole website which I will be showing you one by one. So as you can see, this is my home page which I have created using basic HTML and CSS. After that comes the player section. So the player section, these informations, the name, the position, the current club, the previous club, the total goals have been fetched from the server, from I mean to say from the database. So if I go to the server, um, yes this is the one, so the full name, this is the full name, the first position will be shown in the website, this is the first position, the current club, the current club, the previous club the previous club total goals total goals so if I go to the code so I have echoed the full name position one current club previous club total goals after that if I go to the team section this is the same thing as the player section so if I go to the database yes the team name the detail the current rank team name detail current rank achievement achievements so if I go to the code yes this is the code where I have a code the picture team name current rank detail achievement oh I forgot so the player in the player section i have also added the picture as well which i am fetching from the server backend server now comes the matches part the matches section will work same to same like the players and the team section where the info will be taken from the backend so as a result i have not created the the, uh, the page so after that comes the part of sign in and sign up so there are three sections of sign in and sign up so if I go to the register button as you can see the default one is fan but if the person is not a fan he can be a player or can be a manager so they can click accordingly and they can go to their designated ones so if I go to the fan one and register one uh, let's say So I have registered as a fan and it has been redirected to the dashboard, fan dashboard. So the fan will be watching the stats of the players and the teams like this one. As you can see, the informations are fetched from the database. If I go to this code, if I go to the code, so as you can see the full name birth date position one and current club have been shown in the table so we can show any sorts of details over here like the match detail like the player stats like the manager stats like the team stats same to same like that so as a result i am not showing those ones here so if i go to the admin panel so I have entered in the admin panel but sorry in advance because I have not changed this panel over here. This is the default one but if I want to see all the teams out there, this is the all the teams which these, uh, these data also have been fetched from the server. So if I go to the players database, this is the same thing but here is an option to update and delay let's say 
I want to update the information of this player. So as we know, Lionel Messi usually plays in the forward instead of the midfield. So I want to update that information. So if I click here and write right striker, let's say I have put this information over here. And if I submit, as you can see, the position changes. And if I go to the server, the position changes. And if I want to delete, let's say I want to delete the information of Mohamed Salah. So I can delete by pressing this simply. So as you can see, the information has been deleted. So if I watch the server, the information of Mohamed Salah is no more over here. It will be the same for the manager. And now if I want to add any information, like suppose I want to add an information of a team. Let's say I want to add I want to add the information of Brack University Football Club. So I have filled up all the informations and if I submit, if I submit the information have been submitted. So if I check the information, you can see the information have been successfully updated. So if I look at the database, the information have been successfully updated. So actually this is the whole database management system of my project. And lastly, thanks for watching the whole video. Goodbye.